Yo. This one's about the IMF and the, and the um, UN actually working together. That's what this video is about here. This was made in 9-11, on 9-11-2018, this video. So, I mean, it, this is, read this. These goals are underpinned. More people lead better lives now than a decade ago. Do you really believe that? This is like Scientology. Like, they're like... A giant cult trying to say that they're bettering the world. Obama uh, giving third world countries like foot pumps for their wells uh, instead of actually having, you know, electric power because of carbon emissions, because you're evil humans. And they need to have sustainability means that uh, you have to have a farm that doesn't reduce, produce carbon. Because that's not sustainable for the environment. So anything that's sustainability oriented has to do with carbon emissions and reducing carbon emissions. That's all it means. And they're using weather weapons. Um, I, you guys can read this while I'm talking if you want, but they're using these weather weapons um, to do this, to make it look like we're evil, well, like we're bad so at it's, changing it's the weather. That's what climate change is, is geoengineering, so terraforming programs, tell the, the um, and many of stratospheric the aerosol uh, injection, but, uh, SAI still, programs. Tell us a bit more about the sustainable development goals, how you propose to go about it. Sustainable development goals, how to lower carbon. People still in extreme poverty, despite the huge progress that has been People made. are being wiped uh, out of their houses by hurricanes, died, tornadoes, uh, floods, earthquakes that, has been that were all envisioned by Nikola Tesla and how, how to how actually make an earthquake weapon and using uh, the sonic well, frequencies to do it. Um, well, it, you know, the SDGs were birthed uh, from the success of the Millennium Development Goals. And MDGs, even those Millennium Development Goals. Impossible. And it's, you know, great to have Jeff SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, it's all the same. Their, the all their, their goal back then was population reduction, right as it is today. Energy. It's all about we reducing population of the globe. With and you a, notice in that um, little to to uh, infomercial they had, like Scientology has, um, uh, did have the goal I have a friend forth. that got out of Scientology. Um, so That's how I look. I watched that Leah Remini um, thing on Hulu. You guys ought to watch um, that. The, uh, Leah Remini. Goals, she was on King of Queens. Discussed for twenty odd years. This is the same kind of. Came this is the way cults work. Um, is they try to tell you that they're doing yes, making the world better, and there's no evidence of that whatsoever. They're making it worse. They're killing us, guys. They're making it worse. They're killing us. With vaccines, that kid that was crying on your infomercial. What should we not take? I mean, that's granted. mercury in that um, vaccine. And have a world engage with because this is not a legally binding document. It's not How legally binding document. Um, take for granted but our politicians are going to, to write this stuff out, like uh, Alexandra Casio Cortez. Um, and uh, the Green um, New Deal, cow farts. Uh, you must eat um, lollipops with bugs in them, the or else you're the killing the planet. Poverty in all of its I mean, this is where really the Green the New Deal comes from. This is my whole um, point of this video. What was it that were right and, and, and also to show how crazy not feminazi these people like Hook Nose over here is. How are we going to do that with a consideration for the environment? but also within the economies. Um, how are economies going to be inclusive? Um, what are we going to do to ensure that to be inclusive. We need gender parity. Somehow the governance has which is, saved us and hold we on could a second. plow them back into service delivery for health I'm going to fast forward this uh, to like 25 minutes where they start getting all feminazi on us. But before that, I'm going to read off the gender parity laws and regulations um, at least told to us by the Guardian. In at least hold on a second. So this is from the Guardian. Uh, I got it on the back of this book here, so I could write it down easy. Okay, so gender parity means we talk to women and girls. That's the first law, first rule of gender parity, which is it keeps getting more and more into that. It should just be one. You'll see in a second. Watch. Let girls use phones. Now this is another main point I have about this, about all this political correctness and kicking men out of the workplace for less skilled women just because they're women. 
like women saying like, we're gonna vote for Hillary just because she's a woman uh, and so that's where that comes from that kind of cult mentality this is where all that's coming from is from the UN and the IMF the IMF actually makes it so countries and corporations especially countries that don't actually follow gender parity stuff like hiring more women in the workplace blah 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 feminazi feminazi ah we're gonna nag you to death until you basically quit i guess or no they really have the power to fire men at this point this is what their whole agenda is but letting girls use phones it's like this, these are problems in third world countries that's this is not a, a problem in america and i would I don't know the actual statistics, but I would probably guess that more girls have phones, more women have phones than men. I'm just guessing. But I'm pretty sure the women in the West can buy phones, guys. I don't think gender parity is a thing in the West. We don't need to actually uh, indoctrinate these kids in these colleges to hate white men. Uh, even though supposedly all men are bad, in all these other countries, they're just like, all men are bad. Forget forget just white men. All men are bad. So that's really what their end end goal is, is to really just destroy the family and say, demonize men to the point where women don't want to have anything to do with us. They think that we're just trying to control them, which is a psychological technique that they use. Instead of understanding that the family, the men and the woman in the family, the man and the woman have very, very powerful, unique roles that are just as powerful uh, from the feminine to the masculine when it comes to raising the kids. So a man and a woman have equal power in the family. It's just they're different. And this is the whole thing. Like, um, feminazis trying to push that uh, we need equality, that, that women and men are actually equal. Not that they want equality, but that they're actually equal. And then it gets weird when it gets into the transgender stuff because then you get into these weightlifting competitions where men are dressing up like girls and outlifting all these women. And it's not fair, really. It doesn't look fair to me. Um, that's really what all this gender parity uh, eventually leads to as well is this LGBTQRSTUVP which is pedophile, they're trying to push now. Uh, it's, it's just sick. So then that gets into number three, stop child marriage and sexual harassment. So obviously child marriage is bad. It's going on. There's more sex slavery going on in the world now than there's ever been. And um, I, I, it's just the sexual harassment thing. I mean, let's be honest. In Disney World... That they had a Tarzan exhibit, and they had a guy dressed in a loincloth, and the woman, the women would all grab his butt. It became a thing, and they had to shut the exhibit down because of women grabbing this man's behind. And that's more men are raped in prison. Uh, well, actually, more men are raped in general because of the prison population than women. Um, yeah, and so. What about what about equality for men too? Like, uh, let's get let's go into number four. Okay, make education gender sensitive. That gets into the whole, uh, you know, it's a, it's slavery to be a woman and be in a marriage, raising the kids while the man's out there doing what, working to death probably, like in the coal mines or some shit. In most cases, uh, in some cases. But mostly, men do the, the work. We were built for it. So, uh, make education gender sensitive. Raise aspiration. This is number five. Raise aspirations of girls and their parents. Which gets, I was going to make this point, goes back to number one. Talk to women and girls. Raise aspirations of girls and their parents. Women and girls. So, number one is number five. Uh, number six, empower mothers. Again, number five and number one. Number six is number five is number one. Talk to women and girls. Just let's talk about it. Let's not have these systems push all this stuff on us from the college level. And, and from the, let's be honest, the kindergarten level up at this point. It's gone to kindergartners doing all this 
uh, LGBT sensitivity training and anyway uh, so that's raise aspirations of girls and their parents and power mothers same thing give proper value to women's work now this is a story I have about I was working um, you know with my electrician boss I won't I just I don't want to name who I guess and um, we did a job, the big job. I didn't do a lot of work there. I was actually doing a lot more roofing this last couple months with my other boss, who's on camera, uh, Steve. And uh, I don't know if John wants... Oops. I don't know if John... I can say his first name. I don't know if John wants to actually be on camera on my channel yet. I'll ask him. But he's very interesting. But he uh, gave uh, some positions to two uh, girls, two women. And uh, they were younger women. Um... And they were nice. They were cool. Um, one of them, they, uh, she, I, she was helping me lift. She was like, kind of buff, you know. She's like lifting stuff with me and stuff. And but she wasn't wearing a mask. And I would, I, I didn't wear one either. It was like the first day I didn't wear one, which is rare. I always wear a mask. So if you guys are ever doing construction, wear a mask, no matter what. You should always wear one. I for some reason wasn't wearing one that day. It's just because I was used to working it when all the other people were working in it. We just had the day kind of to ourselves that day. There wasn't any drywall going or flinging around or anything. But anyway, she didn't wear a mask. And she swept up a bunch of light bulbs. With, they have mercury in them, right? You know, a lot of people don't know that. She got sick as a dog right in the middle of work. And she had to go home. My boss had to drive her home. And... So I'm, work, I'm working, I'm working, I'm doing uh, this one room. We have to, you know, put in the um, outlets, the switches, and the overhead lights. We have to install all of them. So this girl, she was busy doing all the floor stuff. She did all that pretty good. She did the, the switches, some of them. Some of them are, the switches are a little trickier because you have to know what wire goes where. And there's a lot more wires, like a... a a two gang box, a three gang box, a four gang box. Sometimes it can they can be really difficult when it gets into the past the single gang. Um, so like if you uh, if you were working with, she, she, I had to finish her job. She couldn't push this light uh, into the ceiling. It has a little part that connects onto a piece of metal and it clicks on like that. She couldn't click it on. And uh, I, had to, I had to finish her job. She couldn't finish her own job. Just So, you know, um, give proper value to women's work. That Also, I'll skip number eight. Encourage women into non-traditional vocations. Number nine, which is on the same subject here. It's basically the same thing, too. There's really only, like, three things on this list. They just keep stretching it out. Um, but encourage women into non-traditional vocations. Women will do that naturally if they're talented. If they, if you know, um, there's plenty of examples. Lot uh, Bob Vila's uh, wife. I think it was his wife, right? That was his assistant that was working with them. She kicks ass. People, you know, there's women out there that are good construction workers, but. I mean, these these girls that were working with me, they they rang, they they smith, stank of feminazis. You know, the, the dyed hair, the tattoos, the, you know, it, right, okay? So they, they were doing that. They were, they were actually probably reading this kind of stuff and thought they could be electricians too, I don't know. And, um, they did a terrible job, I'll just say that. You know, if they're, if they watch this, I don't care. Whatever. They were for other women get triggered by this. Like, it's hard work. Men have been doing these type we've evolved it's called evolution like, you know you know not um like darwinian evolution i don't believe in darwinian evolution don't get me wrong it's it's actually a, it's pretty complex i'll do a how about this my next video i'll do will be about david wilcox um uh discovery of uh that I looked at on his on his documentary um, on the contact in the desert 2017. The first part he kind of talks about um, how even just the way they think that genes work is totally bunk. But let's just I'll talk about that next time. Let's get into this list here. Um, 
Encourage women in non-traditional vocations. Number 10, work together, which is basically the same thing. Women getting into the workforce and competing with men, which is destroying the family because no one's there to raise the kids. Mom and dad are out working, then you got latchkey kids, and you got TV head kids, which is basically what happened to my generation, which is like the Nickelodeon uh, Cartoon Network generation, you know, and sitting there and the TV was your babysitter, like uh, The Cable Guy, was, which is a great movie. And the reason why The Cable Guy got bad ratings, uh, bad uh, critics, you know, didn't like it because it pointed out their whole lie, you know, that the, the TV became the babysitter. And it's, it still rings true today. It's worse now because, I mean, the TV was always a weapon system, but my God, the cell phones are part of this whole matrix system that's been created, this archipelago. Uh, this smart city initiative, Apple computers announcing uh, hands-free typing within the next couple years, which means brain scanning, which means total mind control. Literally, that's what a brain scan is, is brain control, mind control. That's what it is. It can, it can work in reverse. So, I skip number eight. It says, get women into power. Get them in power. Regardless. You know, so that's, that's obviously stupid. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're a girl or a boy or whatever. You're, if you're good at something, you're good at something. And you should try to go after that, you know, regardless of what anyone tells you, which is what America's all about. Again, this gender parity stuff is for third world countries that are run by dictators and Muslim uh, Sharia law and all that stuff putting women down. So it doesn't need to be, uh, we don't need to be lectured by these people anymore. And our colleges have turned into this just like total male bashing fast that it's it's a cult it's turned into a, a globalist cult feminazis they're, they're it's real man okay so 10 work together 11 stop the violence what violence like in third world countries yeah there's women getting raped from third world refugees coming up into europe all the time sweden the rape man the rape that's going on. It's just the worst it's ever been. And even sex trade. The sex trade's worse than it's ever been. It's worse than it's ever been right now. They're like, oh, we're doing so good around the world. The UN is full of shit. I mean, the whole Arab Spring was planned out. Like, Gaddafi, it gets, it gets back to central banks again, the Federal Reserve and the IMF, which is who the, this is about. It's, you know, it's all connected that, you know, they killed Gaddafi because he was going to start his own, uh, it was called the Dinar. It was a glo it was a gold reserve. It was uh, going against the global reserve currency of the central bank of the Federal Reserve System of the United States. You know, that is the petrodollar. Petro what? Petrodollar. You have to buy the dollar first in order to trade internationally. We should have internationalism. We should be talking about internationalism. We shouldn't be talking about globalism, which is what these people are. This is where globalism comes from. These are the globalists. The IMF, the, the World Bank, the UN. In the Alex Jones documentary, America Destroyed by Design, which is a must-watch. It's probably taken off of YouTube now. He goes to the Grand Canyon and looks at the U, uh, United Nations Biodiversity Assessment Marker and it's just all it's run by the UN it probably still is I'm not sure I need to look into that again like what that's an old video I watched a while ago I need to learn about that more about the Grand Canyon what's going on does the UN own the Grand Canyon still because the IMF and all these uh, collateralized debt obligations that we signed into uh, um, made it so all of our um, national park land goes to the United Nations. Who voted for that? Why? Oh, I'll tell you why. The, why does the UN get, uh, get all the land? Because the IMF and the UN and the World Bank, they're all the same. They're all created by the same Royal Institute of International Affairs that, uh, you know, my boy Alan Watt always talks about. 
at cuttingthroughthematrix.com. You know, you gotta look through the veil and see who's really running the show from behind the scenes. It's like Wizard of Oz, like the man behind the curtain. You have this big projection of these people doing good and all this stuff. You look behind the curtain, you see royal families in there, the Saxe Coburg Gothas, manipulating the money systems with George Soros and the Rothschilds. Especially the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds bailed out Trump, guys. This is why I'm really questioning voting for Trump. Because it's all coming out now about Trump and how he really lost big in Atlanta and he owed billions, of, he, he lost billions of dollars and he owes the Rothschild family, the dynasty, billions of dollars because the Rothschilds bailed him out. So Trump is probably a puppet for the Rothschilds. That's why John Bolton's in there, um, you know, trying to go in and invade Iran right now and also um, Venezuela putting Juan Guido in there and uh, you know that, that you know, remember Juan Guido recently begged the military the US military to come in there and help him but the we all know that Juan Guido is actually part of the deep state it's they want their dictators in there you see they don't want some other dictator in there running the show that could be another Qaddafi that wants to maybe start another global... Maybe that's what it's all about. Maybe since Venezuela collapsed, maybe the guy does want to start, um, you know, Maduro. Maybe he wants to start uh, a new uh, gold uh, system, a new uh, gold-backed currency, because that's the only thing that would make sense of why the U.S. wants to go in there and topple the regi regime. Nicolas Maduro looks as though he might be uh, being opposed by the United States and the Trump administration. That's what it looks like. And Trump, with the quote, you know, saying, Russia better get the hell out of there and all this. I mean, it's hilarious, like, how... Not really. I mean, this is war, guys. Trump is, like... He is a puppet. I've, it's pretty, pretty much certain at this point to me. Uh, you know, that, you know, he... he flipped on the on the vaccine issue which his son was damaged by baron trump which is a weird thing to name your kid baron a title of nobility uh which is against the constitution for him to become president because he has a title of nobility it, it would actually have to be baron baron trump i guess but i guess you can get around that if you name your kid like king or something or <laughs> anyway um Stop the violence, number 11. Uh, 12, beware of the backlash. So men, they're worried that men are going to have a backlash when they get kicked out of their jobs so a woman can take their place. It's like uh, Disney when they hired um, uh, refugees. And, uh, or no, 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 they were people from China. I think, yeah, they were people from China that would be paid less and their, their techies had to train these other people. I think they were Chinese. I forget that full story. But they, they trained their, their replacements before they were replaced. And it's like, so they get... It's just sick, man. So what they're saying about the backlash, you know, when you get... If you were like a Disney employee, you get pretty mad if you got replaced. None of them freaked out. None of them went postal, you know. But they're saying sexual harassment will happen if there, if you get kicked out of your job and a woman replaces you, you're going to start whatever, sexually harassing her. And then it's like, then it says another form of backlash, basically, beware of the backlash. One of them is humiliation. And then the other one is violence. I'm pretty sure that humiliation would actually, it would be humiliating for me to, like, uh, replace somebody that, you know, they had to train me, I didn't know anything about it, I'm getting their job, doesn't make any sense, does it? Like, wouldn't it be humiliating to replace somebody that you knew was better than you at whatever it was? For me, it would be, you know, I would admit, I like, I don't know how to do this, whatever it would be, like a, a tank driver, like driving a tank, I can't drive a tank or whatever. 
I work with somebody that drove a tank. You know? It's like, I can't drive a tank. Dude's got skills. I can't do that. I don't... I would feel humiliated saying, I can do a tank too, and I'm going to get in there and get blown up, basically. So, that's just humiliating. It is hum They're like, well, just beware. There's going to be humiliation. With the sexual harassment and the violence, that's just more propaganda to divide the sexes, I think. Anyway, that's the gender parity bull. Now let's hear these people some more, because this gets back into... Uh, the whole point of me doing this. Decided that not only was Hook the nose. Necessary, but and the Star Wars some of lady. The domestic mobilization was. Uh, was she looks like a Star Wars a character. Technical assistance on that front. There's the UN, IMF, OECD. She's almost like hailing Hitler at her. You see that? Frameworking. No, I'm just kidding. You know, uh, which is fine. Which is. She might as well be. She's a eugenicist. Fine. But I think the technical assistance work that is done. The regional. Uh, She's a secret agent lady uh, with working, well. you know, in stealth yeah. to kill the people. That we try to deliver to She's the like Cruella de Vil on steroids. Mm -hmm. Improve. Look at her. Uh, their revenue collection. All and she's missing is that Dalmatian coat, man. Whether yet another new project with financing. She sounds ooh, or, or like she or will rip and, your and balls off and, and put them in a jar, guys. Yeah. I gotta There's put the my glasses on. Uh, Looking at the TV is really propagate, bright. Propagate, communicate, and so, share with uh, with countries. Bear with me. Debtors here. and creditors alike, and that's certainly something that we've seen uh, in the last year, um, mm. where China, you know. And, and other countries, but China certainly is much more aware of the necessary sustainability of a country in terms of debt, of the necessary um, macroeconomic assessment of where it's heading uh, before it helps financing what we call the white elephant projects. And, um, you know, those ones... Like not building huge cities that no one lives in? And, and we see I think, Christine, there's things. all the more reason why we need to speak together. Because I think that we see on the SDG I think they did that on purpose just so they could bring that up. That's, right and, and, it's almost and like and it's right almost making sense to why China um, did but that But it now. needs to be in, in a sustainable way in which we can So they can preach sustainability to China, um, and then China's like, oh, we'll just knock these cities down for you. Um, um, I've watched, they'll probably do that. Just like how they said we need to have freaking all the buildings in New York City knocked down for green buildings. to the Minister of Finance. And I think uh, we have to bring all of that conversation cow together. Farts, man. And, and some of the work that you're doing now, would, I think, is really helpful. Um, particularly mm. when we see um, a lot of what we cannot sustain is oh. weak institutions and governance at the local level. And this is a place where there's a huge opportunity for us to get the revenue right. There's a lot of activity happening there. A lot of it's an informal. The informal sector is something... In revenue right. right. That means funding the revenue. right people. Um, get the revenue and, and right. Get, the fund the people that are going to have we sustainable need to we need to find uh, instruments goals in their, in their products, in their labels. Better. Like kettle Education's chips. Education's not just bad quality. Oh, we're so carbon it's neutral. And we're These are potato chips, please. With, um, 2030, 2050, 2100. And things are going to look very different when you see what's happening with technology and artificial intelligence and which Ew. jobs are going to be there, which we must have are artificial so who intelligence. Are for, um, what are we trading with uh, and for? And, and so I think that there are many unanswered questions. We're trading and, and this is helpful for, for freedom, us to, eh? to come into the same Internationalism is all about trade. And Globalism yes, is all about connecting all the countries so, so you have interdependence and everything's a global husk that can't operate um, well, unless you basically they, uh, destroy population numbers, which gets into the vaccines um, and the eugenics. In Boko Haram was born there. I went to primary school there. We don't have Boko Haram. Terrorists are not born. Um, and we see how exclusion, the drying up of Lake Chad, uh, corruption, many, no many things came weapons to create there that perfect story. Drying up Lake Chad. And I think that we were just not attentive. Wouldn't have at the anything time. to I mean, do with not, spraying the sky but we with did barium begin salts to, and aluminum you know, dioxide. In its governance, uh, in, in its structure, in dividing and it up strontium. more and more, and uh, thinking that we were being more representative. It's part of the weather weapons patents by Ben Livingston. Creating more institutional. Um, hemorrhaging, I would say. High bypass uh, turbofan uh, engines. Don't release water end, vapor, guys. Where I had a bus These planes today, the are military craft, and some of them are commercial craft with actual um, geoengineering. So we could uh, talk about, you know, um, actual you know, patented we we weather weapons thinking in their we in their fu fuel. Um, That's why they're moving. Uh, the fuel tanks are actually made out of titanium. For most of it. 
it affects half of um, they don't need to be made at titanium um, unless you really study why they're not um, realizing their potentials of that women oh so you take me to the next topic yeah. that's perfect cool. <laughs> Because uh, for those of you who are following, um, Trimuliani earlier today said uh, Asia will belong to women, or the future of Asia, Asia will, will belong to women. To women. Which is really windy was outside. An interesting proposition by Trimuliani. So it's a little helicopter you know, leaving. Then she, um, she explains what, what Here's she Here's what I wanted to show you guys. You know, the uh, female labor participation in most uh. Asian countries is in the range of 50%. Get rid of the men, the women. evil and men. And on and on, and the whole list is. is Available for you to read if you're interested in what Trimuliani is clearly. Well, I saw this awkward moment where they're like, aren't men evil? And Tell nobody clapped. She's like, let's clap, aren't men evil? Gender, we need to get them out of the jobs. Uh, by the way, the Secretary General, I think yesterday or Monday. Oh, she's going to say it in a second. She's uh, like, you know, we need to get men out of the jobs. And let's clap for that. And it pans out to the audience. Everyone's like, now men are looking like um, endangered species. <laughs> That's the win. Men are looking like endangered species. Hold on, I gotta go back. So a picture just fell because there's a storm going on outside right now. Ah, it's so weird. Okay, this is the reason why I wanted to show you guys this too. Because uh, for those of you who are following, um, for those of you who are following, I am Cruella de Vil. Or the future of Asia. The future of Asia will belong to a woman if we have anything to do with it. This freaking feminazi, man. And it's very clear. With her power trip. In most Asian countries is in the range of 50%. Hook nose. She's going to... Uh, and, and, and on and on. And she's going to shove you out of your job with her hook nose. Giving us a narrative pre Bali meeting, so I think she will come up strongly on Dude, that. Dude, it's page. getting loud with the rain. I gotta put the speaker up. Tell us about you know, initiatives um, that you are taking on gender. Uh, by the way, the Secretary General, I think yesterday or Monday, announced that uh, you now have are. in the leadership team 24 women and 20 men. Is that right? Yes, the, um, the gender bit went the other way. Now men are looking like um, endangered species. <laughs> <laughs> we should clap for that. <laughs> uh, no, um, you know, he, Antonio no Guterres is our number one. That's president. hilarious. And we will always say that loud and clear because oh, what hilarious. he availed from day one was an opportunity for us to actualize it. He put it out there. I can not watch it for myself out it here. It's happen. hilarious. So left and right of him is a woman, his chief of staff and myself. Um, sometimes he said, oh dear, where are the men? But, you know, he keeps saying, you bring something for him to approve of the yeah. head of agency, is it a woman? And, and where so, are the men? Um, he's made a concrete effort to try to ensure uh, that we do have... He only parity. said, where's the women? So he keeps his job. He's uh, afraid. Members, member states did not ask us for reform, gender parity. He's afraid to not um, hire women. And uh, so for senior management... Yes, or else he'll lose his job. He'll be replaced of by a woman that hires women. Um, the so what it the is. The assets of the UN in 129 countries, we have parity. Uh, so that's been good Gender for parity, I just went over the list world. for you guys. Around the world, woo, I think we are... In 124 14? countries. 40,000. 40,000, okay. I have 40, to say that 40,000 around the world. I mean, for my biggest surprise was when I landed God. in D Denmark the That's other day. That's where all these we feminazis are coming city. from. It's a wonderful eco building in Denmark. Yeah, in wonderful eco building, like New York. We got to tear down New York and build those green buildings, like men. I said. The majority of them are part Freaking of UNICEF. And it's cow farts, dude. Um, to the humanitarian. So our humanitarian piece is very large, um, as is our peacekeeping. Um, development's smaller, but I think. Um, you and peacekeeping, man? Wow. They are some you know, rapists. Sort of think, Let me tell uh, you. Globally, um, to, Look to that up. Of an example, Look up all today, the articles the about UN peacekeepers being pedophiles the biggest, um, and rapists. Uh, challenges we see Child rapists. People. Um, and so the uh, Secretary General has taken that up as a priority on the health agenda. But um, coming back to our gender oh, parity, God. I mean, this is, uh, no, it, it also parity. opened up the question about mm. you know, how we take on youth, young people. Um, and in that exercise, we found that we so are way royal. behind. So we talk about women and glass ceilings, but actually, for young people, it's concrete. Um, the average age of entry into the UN is 45. What? Yeah, it's 45. So it's young. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> many of us here in the room would agree with that. <laughs> yeah. But it is also, the you, witch know, you know, we just, we just 
lifted the age. She's of about twelve thousand so years we've got old. More old people for longer. She was around during That's Atlantis. That's the story today, and we did not see that. So when we came up with the gender parity, we had to address that and to say, okay, this has got to happen over time, and every step that we take now um, has got to, to make sure we open the door. So we have a youth envoy, and we have a you know an, an effort an to look at the youth envoy, to bring like in Bolsheviks, younger people, um, particularly at national level with your national stuff. They're doing a good job from kindergarten the, uh, up training parity, these kids to be um, in the system is little much more difficult Nazis to achieve about gender, in the man. I see where it's um, coming on from. You see side, where it's coming okay. from? Administration, development, They're not giving countries loans unless you follow this crap. Sets, but really difficult on peacekeeping. Um, and this yes. has been Men a challenge are so bad. Us, right? We need to destroy the family, and we guys. That unless that's we get what that's all gender about. parity, that partnership between men and women will not give us an enabling environment to say, for instance, zero tolerance yeah, is, is achievable mm -hmm. for sexual harassment and abuse. We zero tolerance. Uh, staff of the UN. It's not peacekeeping support. No, no, exactly. I mean, the, 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 the West doesn't the need this stuff. Not, so not including those people who are made available no. to you we encourage other countries. It, but we don't have a say on it. They are true. Um, providing nations and, and reporting to their respective countries, yes. at least from yeah. a management point of view. Yes. Okay. Um, so on that, we've been looking. NATO at, runs on military. Remember we, during you know, Obama. Encourage that skill set um, uh, to come forth. And my discussions the other day. They of take orders from NATO, and then they talk to Obama. In one of our Nordic then they talk countries, to Congress. but in her not so past our life, generals she was great during defense. Obama. They were total deep state operatives. And so I was asking her, where do you think we can make the investments in making sure we try to get parity? Um, in uh, in the field and, and in peacekeeping, hmm. and two things that she said was in communications and intelligence. Communications, which, which means pretty quickly, um, um, and social networks. So it's been Facebook, a lot of thinking through um, results. If we said that we we promised to deal with where all the censorship um, how is we coming from, to come trying to censor conservatives, it hasn't been easy. I think People one of the things on the both UN the challenge and the agenda, that's party, what a conservative basically on, is now. Um, uh, challenges like uh, sexual harassment and abuse. Terms change we with times, guys. You gotta realize that men. when you stand, um, I've been uh, in many retreats. You, if you try to stand for Trump, which I thought men, I was, um, and to say until to them, he said, know, we're do parity, I'm a and globalist agree, and a and nationalist. Say to them, well, you know, many of you will not have that's a Orwellian because they're gonna be filled by women. Um, that's oh, they're that's gonna be difficult. filled by women. They that's will really be difficult, and it's not one that um, we paid much attention to. We're going to cut your balls Recently, off. Recently I will have people coming to me to say, well, you know, what do we do with this expertise? Because these are really good men. And, you know, yeah. so, well, these really are good really good men that you're getting rid of. Time, and there's, Aren't you know, they? never been, she um, even makes that point. That's, country or an these are sick people. And, and, uh, you know, they really don't away. care about and about anything but time, the agenda, of two which sides. is global but government. But I do think we need to have a conversation with men. They admit it. Um, in, in their in their so founding uh, have, do you have papers, in, programs, in their charter documents. We started to introduce global them, government, um, but you know, global governance. To retire, it's what it is. Work. Global I mean, governance is the global UN government. Are serving humanity. This is a vocation, um, so they don't want to stop working. Sure. So I think that we have to have a better conversation within the multilateral system, and to see what other opportunities yeah. there are. They'll have a conversation. Um, it's a very big wake up call with the men right before they fire them. Yeah. We you need know, to have more on, conversations uh, SDGs, uh, with the men before do you think we eliminate them. Improve parity, better uh, female labor force participation, including the gender gap. Destroy the family uh, sectors with more female workforce. Countries will actually serve the delivery of the SDGs. Absolutely. I mean, I, I don't think that there is a better way than to bring the other half to the table. Gender parity um, brings that, forth know, the sustainability it, um, goals. It's good because the, the less men there are in the workforce, the less carbon the there will be. The response that we get. I mean, um, because the that we, that we'll there'll be less kids, education, because there'll be less families. The way They're saying it right now um, in the open to you. In the future, you just, uh, what we do with renewable if you're energy, clued in no one knows to their extermination the, the program, the tasks then you that, understand, that you can read between the lines of these people's um, in conversation. In an environment where there is no power, mm. um, and so when you're really looking at what you do with power, um, that transition to renewables is important that we're there um, having that discussion. Um, I think, you know, a lot of the time... The, they don't the want to have power, like she said, just been, there. Is this what we add on? They eventually don't want power. Um, I tick the box and like I've done gender. electricity. Well, gender is men and women, so it's to find that comparative advantage of no each carbon. to ensure that that partnership Imagine itself a world without electricity. is strengthened. 
They want us to go back to the Dark Ages, guys. Not just think about the numbers that we have to fill. But they want to fry us first, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. G. Yeah, tenth world, generation uh, will be just crawling into a microwave still still with, with your phone. Yeah, and, no, 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 it'll be a, a phone in your brain. That's probably what what ten G will be. Uh, and it's just you step into the microwave in, in while the phone's the inside your brain. Level. That's probably and, what. It and is. yet you talk to the lead bankers of this world and you explain to them that their bottom line would be much improved. That the security would be much better than oh, uh, the they would have more line. reserves, and that uh, if you get rid of the men, the bottom line would be much better. Defended by women, and yet it doesn't change. I, you know, I I'm like scratching my head, wondering why. Voters before I, I didn't either. I still question them in all circumstances, but I think we have to find um, an opening where we judge your success as well by the oh. number of women you bring in oh. um, to that space. Oh, and, and you don't judge their the success, it, you judge you know, their really success by how many women they bring it, into the force. It's a, if it's a choice between a you man don't judge and a success a woman where there is that by space any other um, in standard. order to, to, to get the, the best out of it. We're not doing that. Um, it's the same, you know, when, when the banks um, in Ooh. Nigeria were told by the central bank, you have to have a department that deals with agriculture and you will be measured on the number of women that have access to credit. Right there! Um, otherwise, so, there is you know, some what I just said. You know, uh, repercussion They're there. Only giving Some loans to people that hire women. And and I she think just said it right there, you can rewind it. Um, and, and put them in there uh, to ensure that we are in those places. I do think there has to be some That's you know, it. exit strategy, and it's not everyone. That I wants did to the go video. In. I mean, I think that I showed you. It's 40 minutes. We we're looking at many of the educated good. women to come into public sector work. Um, I'll in our go countries, a it was very there. difficult to get them because the sacrifices you have to make in those environments are huge. Um, but then we started to find places in the public sector that were more amenable. Yeah. Um, in the private sector, I think that you know we we have to get more women at the at the board, um, more women owning um, companies, uh, so that you know we start to set a trend. I yeah, like I Gillette. Left, um, being an employee <laughs> let to women an employer because I was take a company a with a message that's been around. I could never the hold best on to a husband a man and family can get. if I continued the job. And now it's doing. like. Um, so you saw the Gillette owner, commercial, you must have um, seen it. Of a company and an employer, uh, we just it, set it was rules. a freaking um, nightmare. It used to be, we all traveled a lot because um, that was the nature of our work. And people boycotted um, and so that company. That, uh, I mean, the, the bottom line for companies when they fire or when they hire women, these, these feminazis, they take their it's really bad. They're losing um, lots of money. So, Schick? You know, you know how much money no Schick is making now? I missed it. I'm oh, done. Useful we'll sometimes. Yes. Good video. I was just looking for the opportunity yeah, to justify the to pay. Yeah, look at Star so, Wars lady. Um, she was my. Tell me if you my want more. My came with the baby for the first two years of every one of them, but you know that really, that was just trying to this be creative. Sick, I, I didn't Have want a good to one, miss guys. out yeah. on. on